How did you get involved with Forge? Oh, well, I have been, had been working at a Christian school in Greeley for over 10 years, maybe longer with being a mom there with my own kids. And my oldest graduated from there. And Sebastian, our youngest, was going to be freshman last year. Um, was ready for a bigger school, like more competitive sports. And my husband has always worked in Golden, so we always knew that Faith Christian might be a good option for our kids at some point. And so kind of that freshman transition year, we figured it'd be a good one. And so we came and shadowed Sebastian's eighth grade spring time and really prayed and talked about it over the summer and made the change. And we moved to Thornton to be closer. And that's how I got started at Faith, which then transitioned into Forge. And I knew I would probably always try to get a job here at some point doing marketing and communications and public relations, just kind of all the things I had done at the previous Christian school. So I was waiting for that opportunity to become available at Faith. And when it merged into or turned into Forge, then I knew that was a good chance for me to apply and help with the vision of creating this new school and helping it grow and all those great things. What's one of your favorite things about Forge? Hmm. I have to say the students. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, just building that human connection with people and helping students realize their potential and helping them grow and most of all feel loved because I feel like when I was in high school, that wasn't the case. We were so kind of on our own. And I remember just thinking, man, if we had some good mentors that would help us to see things beyond high school, beyond right now, it would have been good. And so, I don't know, I've always just kind of had a passion for helping people realize that they're loved and that they're cared for. And I like to help in that way. What do you like to do outside of school? Oh, well, lots of family stuff outside of school. But um, if I have like a quiet moment, um, I would say kind of try to get crafty, either with making t-shirts or designing or just something creative to um, get your mind off of things and, and get you thinking in a different way. I also like photography. What are some things you're passionate about? Ooh, I talked about it a little bit already. So definitely helping kids um, reach for their dreams and, and hope big. And But I think um, just really walking with Jesus and asking like, what do these kids need, right? Like show me, show me who needs love and encouragement today and, and how do I show that and how am I, the hands and feet to these kids and sometimes to parents and just helping them connect with parents and other grown-ups all those things i'm passionate about all right and last question what's something you've struggled with in life and how did you overcome it oh well i would say probably self-confidence like especially in high school middle school because I am the daughter of an immigrant family, so I always felt like I wasn't, you know, good enough. I didn't know enough. I, um, I wasn't the like popular kid, and so self confidence was always a big thing. Like I wanted to do the right thing, but I was always scared to, right? Like, is that going to be cool, or you know, or am I going to have no friends if I do the right thing? And so I think I um, started in high school developing more of that confidence as um, I just gained new friends and new insight, but that was always hard. I mean, and still sometimes it's hard, you know, being around teens again, you kind of get into that, oh, are they going to be mad at me? Are they not going to like it when I say this? And 
I think it's something that you live, everybody lives with insecurities their whole life, but you have to start realizing the outcome is worth it, right? Like, if I can help somebody, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if they like me or not, right? And it doesn't really matter what people think as a whole. Like, if we stand up for the right things and we stand up for Christ, then it's all that matters. So it's just really freeing, and I, and I want to be able to teach that and show that to others. Well, thank you, Miss Stella. You're welcome. Thank you for interviewing me.